Djibouti is overcoming years of global, political and economic isolation, with an eye to increase vital infrastructure that will help it become a major international trading hub. The nation's coastal waters provide a gateway to the busy shipping trade route, the Suez Canal. Local stakeholders want to emulate other global trading hubs and position itself as the gateway for Asia into Africa. It was always that Djibouti was the land of encounters and exchanges, and I think this is true. And now, we're trying to prove that it's currently going the way of Dubai and even Singapore. Djibouti already operates as the main port for its landlocked neighbour Ethiopia, and they're strengthening that connection further. Chinese firms are working with the government to upgrade vital transport infrastructure, critical if the nation is to boost trade. A short drive from the capital, Chinese workers are busy building a new railway line, linking Ethiopia's capital with Djibouti. The project will revive the line that has been defunct for decades. The 4,450-mile line is being built by China Railway Engineering Construction. It's one of 14 major infrastructure projects planned here, totalling some $14.4 billion, mainly financed by Chinese banks. Of 17 landlocked countries on the continent, 10 are in the Comesa region, with 400 million inhabitants. So these countries need maritime and port infrastructure to trade with the rest of the world. For now, Djibouti mainly serves Ethiopia's 90 million consumers, but the nation has significant expansion plans. Djibouti wants to add two new airports as well as build industrial areas. But some are wary of such huge investments for a country with less than a million people that's also facing widespread poverty and unemployment levels of more than 40%. However, Djibouti's government is betting on strong African economic growth to recoup the investment and set itself on a path to becoming the Dubai of the Horn. Andrew Thompson, CCTV.